Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I hope we are all well. Start of the week, eight weeks out. I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, I'm gonna say it. How are we eight weeks out? <laughs> How are we eight weeks out? Officially halfway through, which is crazy. Um, I'm so tired this morning. My body is broken. Literally rolled out of bed, sat up, and I was like, Ugh, every single thing in my body hurts. So that is always fun. Um, but I've just got up and having my morning coffee and then I'm gonna go for some steps. I've kind of increased my steps a little bit recently just to get some movement going. It's just one of the easiest ways to get some more movement and I'm getting around 5,000 steps done first thing in the morning. It is what, half past seven. So I'm gonna go out and do about 5,000 steps. Um, I did have a new low in this morning, 59 on the dot. It isn't a big low way in, but it's a new low way in nonetheless, 59 on the dot. Um, and I've also had another quarter of an inch come off of my waist and glutes, so that's all good. Changes since we last spoke. What changes do I make? Yes, so I did increase cardio about four days ago. Um, so I was doing 10 minutes post-workout, so 50 minutes across the week. I'm now doing 15 minutes post-workout, so 75 minutes across the week. That extra five minutes on the Stairmaster is no joke. <laughs> Every single time, like your body definitely adapts. Um, like your body definitely adapts to what you're doing because when I first started doing the 10 minutes, it was evil. And then you get really used to it and it doesn't feel that hard. And now I'm doing 15 minutes and I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, all good. So I'm gonna drink my coffee, go up some steps. But I guess the physique is coming in. So obviously haven't eaten yet haven't drank anything yet first thing in the morning um but it's definitely coming in which is nice um abs are popping which is nice but yeah but yeah my recovery is shocking like I mentioned but what I am doing so I obviously see my sports therapist every couple of the every couple of weeks can't speak it's too early every couple of weeks and she sorts me out um but this week i've actually booked myself in for a full body hot stone massage because that's a necessity um i've only ever had a hot stone massage once and i loved it so i'm gonna go back i'm gonna have another one um but yeah first sign of prep feels is always a bad recovery <laughs> then you get hungry then you get tired right now just bad recovery food shop has arrived this morning it's now the next day by the way because i'm terrible at vlogging um you know when they give you like substitutions and it wasn't what you ordered they've given me instead of the fire they've given me this one but the protein per 150 grams is pretty similar it'll still be 20 grams of protein um per serving and actually the carbs and fats are pretty much the same so I mean, I'll let you know how it tastes. I really like the thickness of the Fahe, so we'll see. I've also picked these up for Nick. He wanted some more low-calorie snacks because he keeps eating too much cream cheese. So I've got these ones. We'll see if he likes them or eats them all at once. And these proper corn, sea salt of popcorn, 44 calories per pack. Obviously nice to have as a little snack if you're watching a film, that kind of thing. Um, I showed you the list yogurts last time that I've also got for Nick. I'm not sure how low calorie these ones are but I thought why not go for the lemon. Let me think. Oh yeah 163 calories per one. So we'll get his review on those as well. Um, but everything else is pretty much the same as always. Dark chocolate in different flavours, eggs, chicken, bacon, all good so pretty much the same as always okay so as the have absolutely nailed this by the way so although it was a sub substitution from my delivery it's actually creamier than a normal farhe farhe but the macros are the same absolutely nailed it and it's cheaper you're welcome so i just got to the gym i look like i'm sweating already it looks like I've already done a workout. Why is my face so red? It's quite warm today in the UK, thank God. Um, summer is coming. I feel like I've said that a few times in these videos, but we're waiting for summer to fully arrive. Um, I am taking pre-workout now. <laughs> um, so I did mention that I wasn't doing pre yet um, in a previous video. That changed over the weekend. Um, 
I try and catch up on a lot of sleep over the weekend and before my leg day I was like do you know what I need to buy a tub from the gym I need to get something going um I'm only doing half a scoop right now before workouts I still train fairly early in the day so it's not going to affect my sleep at all obviously I monitor my sleep anyway so if it does affect my sleep then we just pull back on it and see what happens I would rather better sleep than just an extra five percent of focus in the gym um but i'm having the abe all black everything in sour gummy bear it is a stimulant um so it does have caffeine in but i only do half a scoop so i'm gonna do that now before going into the gym i'm also a dry scoop kind of girl because i do not like pre-workout mixed in water i just think it makes me feel a bit sick so i just have to get it in in a scoop i feel like i need pump up music to do this too I watch way too many bodybuilding YouTube videos and I'm just trying to be like them so badly. So I only half a scoop it, little bit of shake, scoop, little bit of shake. Sour. I like the sour though. Sour gummy bear, very sweet very shower but i enjoy it so let's go and get an upper workout in and then when i'm home i will be doing a q a i put on my instagram story that i'll be doing a q a in this video so let's go get a lift in and we'll do a q a when i'm home <laughs> gym which is why I look a little bit dishevelled I'm not gonna apologize for that ill um bit hot today a bit sweaty but good upper session cardio done posing done as well I might insert a little clip of my posing practice post workout but now I'm gonna go through the Q&A that I put on my Instagram that I mentioned also getting through my last half a gallon roughly quarter of a gallon left I mean so, first question, how many shows are planned for this year? Um, so around three, around three, probably three, potentially two, maybe four, we'll see. But around three, I would like to do three. Second question, what is your least favourite thing about prep? Um, my least favourite thing about prep? I don't know, you know, I actually just really love the whole process, so I'm really not sure. I think if I really had to choose something, like had to had to choose something, I think it's um, like spending time with other people. Like for example, when Nick and I obviously go on dates and stuff, we're not going out for dinner, we're being a bit more creative, which can be nice because you're mixing things up, you're not just always going out for dinner. Um, I can't exactly just pop round my mum's for dinner, do you know what I mean? Uh, we can't really pop round a mate's for dinner. Um, you can't really do anything spontaneous um, I think that's probably what it is. Everything's routine, everything's planned. Um, if someone invites you out, you've got to be like, well, I can come, but I'm not eating with you, I'm not drinking, do you know what I mean? So I think that's the hardest part, is that you feel almost like you do miss out on things with friends and family, because 
as well as like if they know that I'm not going to eat or drink they won't invite me <laughs> which is absolutely fine it makes my life easier and if that's the vibe of the night fine um but yeah sometimes you do miss out on things with like friends and family I would say that's and I try to be as social, sociable as possible. I try to think of non-food related date ideas that Nick and I can do to, to still, you know, do things outside of just gym and cardio and steps to actually have other things to do. But that can be hard sometimes. The next question, cardio on rest days or training days? So at the moment, training days, I would always recommend training days, um, doing it either separate as in doing it faster in the morning or doing it post-workout, I would always try to have full rest days as much as possible. So at the minute I have two days a week where I don't do any training or any cardio and I would like to keep that the same for as long as possible. Just because recovery is super important on prep, it's super important in general, but on prep it's even more important. So it's always good to have full days of rest if you can. Um, obviously if cardio gets really, really high, if you're on over an hour post-workout and it gets increased even more, um, or you're doing it fasted in the morning and it's over an hour, at some point it might be better to separate it onto your rest days as well if you can. Um, and then obviously just focus on recovery elsewhere with your sleep and supplements and everything like that and any, you know, massages and mobility work. But at the minute it is completely on training days. It will stay on training days for as long as I possibly can get away with it. I've never had cardio longer than 30 minutes or so post-workout. So um, hopefully I'll never need to put it on to rest days as well. Do you find balance with your lifestyle? If so, how do you do so? Um, so... Balance on prep is, I guess, not a thing, <laughs> to be honest. It's not, but I mean, balance is whatever it means to you. Like, no one can tell you what balance is for you. Do you know what I mean? And I think I mentioned in the, in the previous video when we unboxed my old bikinis and I said, yeah, they're quite expensive, but I don't really spend my money elsewhere. It's the same thing with your health and fitness as well, or even, I guess, prep is different to health and fitness. But if we're talking health and fitness, you know, someone might not drink at all. They might be completely teetotal, but they, um, you know, they have chocolate every single day or something like that. Someone might want to drink every Saturday night, but they never order takeaways. Like all of these sorts of things, it's completely up to you and your lifestyle and where you're willing to spend your money or your calories or whatever, like that kind of thing. On prep, there's no balance. Um, there's no kind of... I say there's no balance, but I don't feel like I go all guns blazing. And I think that's just because I've come from a very sporty background and a very fitnessy background that my lifestyle in general just kind of eased me into prep quite well. Um, I think if you had never had any sporting experience and you threw yourself straight into a prep, that's quite an extreme thing to do. And it would take some time to kind of work your way into that. So I don't have balance but I feel balanced. Does that make sense? To the average person, I have no balance and I'm not, I'm also not looking for balance. I'm looking to excel in what I want to do. No one that looked for balance ever did, ever excelled in what they were trying to do unless they wanted to excel in finding balance, right? So I'm not looking for balance. I'm looking to excel in my craft. Um, do I ever have periods of balance? Of course, like Christmas time when I go on holiday, those are periods of balance. But that to me is three or four weeks out of the year and I'm still having fruit and veg in every single meal and I'm still having protein in every single meal. That to some people is them going all guns blazing all year round if they do some of those things. So it's completely person dependent. I wouldn't say I've ever, I've ever strived for balance. Um, but I do have periods of balance where it just makes sense, if that makes sense. Next question. Do you ever compare your prep to others and how do you stay in your own lane? I really like that question. I think that's a really, really good question because, you know, people do like to share their, their preps on social media. They like to talk about the ins and outs. I think in some ways it's really, really good for people to share the ins and outs of their preps from calories to macros to cardio to steps to everything just lay it all out on the table like I think that in some ways can be incredibly beneficial especially if people are kind of wanting to get into the sport and they see kind of how far some people have to go um, and that can you know show what is realistic in this situation but then I also think it's great when people don't show too much because it doesn't influence other people right so 
you always have to take it with a pinch of salt. Everyone's body is completely different. Um, everyone's genetics are completely different. Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. Um, I so brief interlude because the camera cut out the rest of that clip, although I pretty much answered the question. And I don't have an outro to this video. So now this is my outro. Um, we didn't get a review for the lemon yogurts just yet. They were, they were for you to review the lower calorie desserts. So you can do that in the next video. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Make sure you're following the baddest beat on YouTube. Sorry, Train people. with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.